Like every other year, I start decorating the house for Halloween for all the kids to enjoy. Sadly, I think this may be the first time we won't be out there trick-or-treating, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate. What's up everyone and welcome to Sketch Saturday here at the club. Got the popcorn and some scary movies lined up, because today we're going to create a sketch illustration of a realistic Halloween pumpkin. Let's get started by sketching a large oval in the center of our page to define the size of our pumpkin. Now I use a side grip of my pencil, using the flat edge, we're going to start at the very top. It's going to work our way out towards the left. Just come down towards the side, and then the bottom. I'm just going to be going back and just readjusting the shape as we go. Now the shape doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be modifying the shape a little bit later. Now to help us with the symmetry of our pumpkin, we're going to create a guideline coming down the center of that oval. Starting from the very top, I'm just going to sketch a straight line coming down towards the bottom. I'm also going to extend this line going up towards the top of our page. Now our pumpkin's going to have these deep ridges going all the way around, kind of like an orange. So let's start with the inside edge. From that center line, we're going to step out towards the left. I'm just going to sketch a straight line going up towards the top, and then down towards the bottom. Let's take that same distance over towards the right side. Let's tilt our pumpkin forward so we can see the base of the stem. Let's start with that center ridge. From the top of our pumpkin, we're going to step down, sketch a straight line going across. And we'll round out the top and the sides of that center ridge. Starting from the middle, it's going to curve out and then down towards that line. Do the same thing on the right. It's going to bend out the side. Curve out, down, and then in towards the bottom of that line. And it'll round out the bottom of that ridge, starting back on the left, curve down, and then back up. Let's layer the second ridge in behind. We're going to start on the left side, curve up, round this out, come down along the side. I'm just going to pull that back in towards the bottom. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. So we're just going to line this up, curve up towards the top. Come around the side, down, and then in. Now with these three ridges in place, we can tuck the stem in behind. Let's start over on the left side, curve in and up towards the middle. I'm just going to bend that out and over towards the right side. And then from the top, I'm just going to thicken this up, going out and then back down. Let's flatten off the end of the short line. Curve in, down, and then out towards the right side. Let's go to the top of the oval on the left side. Step down from the side of the stem. We're going to curve up, go around the side of our oval, down. I'm just going to pull that in towards the side. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up towards the top of the oval, Trace out the side, and at the bottom, we're just going to tuck that back in. And we'll pull the back of the pumpkin in behind the stem. We're going to step over towards the left, curve up, and then down in behind the stem. Line this up on the right, go up, and then down. Now that we have the basic shape of our pumpkin, I'm going to go back in and lightly erase some of these initial guidelines. Now we're going to go back in and block out the shape of the eyes and the mouth. Let's start from the center of our pumpkin, move over towards the left, curve the eye going up, and then out. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing, going up, and then out towards the side. And then we'll round out the bottom of the eye, starting back on the left, come down, round this out, and then pull that in.
Let's move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. From the center, we're going to step down, start with a point. From here, I'm going to curve up towards the left eye, to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And they'll bend out the first set of teeth, starting from the top, curve out, and then down towards the edge of that ridge. And again, we're just going to taper that back out and up towards the eye. Draw a shorter set of teeth, curving out and then down. And then we'll curve the mouth going out and up towards the corner of the mouth. Now we're going to work our way back down towards the bottom. Starting from the top, curve down, and just in towards that ridge. And we'll pull a set of teeth coming in, going up and in. Come down and in towards that inside ridge. I'm going to add one more set, curving up and in. Then from here, it's going to curve down and in towards the center point. Now we want to show that a pumpkin has some thickness, so we're going to add a thick ridge around the outside of the eyes. From the top corner, we're going to step in, just follow that same curve, coming down, just blend in towards the bottom of the eyes. And we'll add a thick edge along the outside of the mouth. Starting from the top, step in, again, just follow that same curve, coming down, and then in from the outside tooth. Let's go to the inside set of teeth. I'm just gonna angle a line coming up and in. Start aiming towards the center of the head. And then from the tip of the inside fang, we're gonna sketch a short line going up and in. Again, aiming towards the center of the head. And we'll follow that same curve going up and in. Let's go to the bottom fang. Again, drawing a short angled line going up and in. And then following that same curve coming in. And then from the inside fang, we draw a short angle line going up and in towards the middle. Curve in and then down towards the middle on both sides. Now once we're happy with the shape and the design of our pumpkin, I'm going to go in with the tip of my pencil and start tracing out the contours. Let's start from the very top. I'm going to be readjusting the shape as we go. Also adding a little bit of detail to the tip of the stem.
Once we finish tracing the contours of our drawing, it's time to start adding some shape by adding some highlight and shadows. Let's start with the stem. I'm going to start with a dark shadow over on the right side and just fade that out as we go towards the left. So let's start from the bottom corner, using the side edge of my pencil. I'm just going to work my way up, just along the side. Let's go a little bit lighter as we go towards the left side. And then from the bottom of the stem, we're just going to start off a little bit darker and then just lightly fade that out as we get towards the top. Now we're going to light our scene with a single light coming from the top left across the pumpkin. So each of these ridges is going to cast a shadow on the inside edge and then pick up a highlight on the outside. So let's start with this outside ridge first. Starting from the top, it's going to go along the inside of that ridge line with a dark shadow. Going around the mouth and then down towards the bottom. And we're going to fade that shadow as we get out towards the top left. So darken the shadow along the bottom. And slowly work our way up. Just lightening up that shade. Going around the mouth. and then lightly fading out that shadow line. And then I'll go in with the tip of my pencil and just darken up that shadow line. And we do that same thing to each of these ridges. Again, starting off dark along the bottom and the right side, and then just fading that out. So then along this edge, we have this nice contrast between shadow and highlight.
And you can see that I cast the shadow from the stem onto the right side of the pumpkin. And also I added a highlight along the side, just to give it a little bit more shape. And then with a the thick edge around the eyes, I'm going to start with a darker shadow on the top and just fade that out. And the same thing with the mouth. And as we get near the end of our drawing, I'm going to add a drop shadow on the bottom and add a little bit more detail to the stem. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a Halloween pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.